Welcome to San Francisco for episode three. And in this episode, I've saved one of my favorite perspectives to show you guys. And doing so, we're gonna use the 70 to 200. It's an incredible lens to show you this technique. And it's showing how we can scale up landmarks, buildings, or even mountains up against a subject. It just exaggerates how dominant that landmark is over the subject. And what a better place to do it with the Golden Gate Bridge behind us, a perfect backdrop to show this technique. And for the other focus in this series, color, as we've touched upon in the other episodes, color evokes emotion. And as you can tell, San Francisco is looking kind of gray, but we're gonna be playing around with this, changing the white balance to kind of this cold, more blue tone, which will make the viewer feel more isolated and calm and really works well with the moody weather. In contrast, we've got the vibrant red Golden Gate Bridge behind us, and that will make the viewer feel passion and this kind of more powerful feeling when they see it in the shot. So with the red and blue tones clashing together, it's gonna to make things pretty interesting but we're gonna get some cinematic stuff here right now. And to complete the sequence, we're gonna find some epic drone shots on Adobe stock to complement the sequence, as I can't fly here, sadly. With all that in mind, let's get the San Francisco adventure started. All right, so just made it over the bridge onto the other side to the Golden Gate Overlook, and it's perfect for what we're trying to achieve here. George is standing between the two trees over here, directly in line with the Golden Gate Bridge. And the key thing is here, we're using the 70 to 200 to get a really tight shot of Georgia in between the two trees. And what this does is, using the 70 to 200, as you zoom in, the background object actually gets closer. Kind of making it into an illusion to the viewer, making the object seem much larger than it actually is behind the subject. And this kind of setting right now is perfect for that. So we're gonna be shooting around 135 mil of Georgia and the Golden Gate Bridge will look a lot bigger than it actually is. Kind of emphasizes how big the bridge really is kind of overpowering everyone around it. And this is such a good way to show that. Another technique we're gonna be using is symmetry. Symmetry is crucial in photo and film. And the technique we're gonna be using right now is called the one point perspective. That means there's only one vanishing point on the horizon. And that point is directly in the middle of the bridge. Such a nice scene we've got going on right now. We've got the two symmetrical trees either side, George in the center of the frame, and that vanishing point of the Golden Gate Bridge right behind her. And combined, it makes a beautiful photo. So we're gonna get that right now and just enjoy the weather and get some B-roll while we're here. Alright, sunset time has arrived. We made it to Baker Beach, an insane beach for an awesome view of the Golden Gate Bridge right behind us. As I said, the weather has not been good to us in San Francisco, so we've still got clouds, but we're gonna make it work. We came down here to get kind of low to the ground shots, use the reflection of the water with the bridge, and also utilizing that 70 to 200 technique we discussed earlier to get a shot of George on the rocks, scaling the bridge right behind her, with a 200 mil and to get a shot of G on the rocks scaling the bridge right behind her using that 70 to 200 technique just showcasing how big the bridge really is we get more of a sideways view of the bridge down here which is awesome and as it gets from day to night we're going to utilize stock again and get a day to night time lapse add that into the sequence also we're going to experiment with the white balance in the sequence i'm going to in post production gradually set keyframes increase the wire balance from warm to kind of this cold blue tone and this will really help show to the viewer the transition from day to night making it kind of this darker more isolated calm sequence and uh, we're going to get shooting right now before it gets too dark so let's get the cameras rolling Right, to wrap up this series we're going to finish on a kind of unique perspective that no one really shoots that much and that's using wet puddles 
wet surfaces to get a reflection. So as you can tell, we're underneath the Golden Gate Bridge and we found a wet surface here. And we're gonna go low to the ground, capture the perfect symmetrical photo of the Golden Gate Bridge. And using that for photo and film, it kind of opens up how you see the world. You'll start to see the smaller details in life. So quick tip, look out for wet surfaces puddles and you'll be able to get really unique perspectives. With that said, we're going to get this photo right now of the Golden Gate Bridge using the 1DX high ISO, low f-stop and keeping the shutter quite low. As you can tell, it's getting pretty dark. So this is how the image came out. And that is a wrap guys on this series. I really hope you enjoyed it and learned something. In episode one, the moody tones and the aerial perspectives in New York to episode two in California of the warm tones of the POV perspective. And then lastly, in San Francisco for the 70 to 200 perspective and those kind of more blue, colder tones. And I hope you've learned that you can use Adobe Stock to enhance your work, really take it to the next level. And we would love to see you use Adobe Stock in your next piece. And I guess on that note, I'll catch you in the next one.